Hi guys, and welcome to a series of updates called Going Medieval. I'm joined today with uh, Martin, and thank you very much for inviting me to have a look yeah, at this. Yeah, of course. This. Welcome to our office. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. So I'm here at the Boardcubator offices, uh, taking a look at Kingdom Come Deliverance, the board game. And today, uh, we want to be having a look at how a player turn works within the game. So please, um, tell me, who are we and what are we doing here? Yeah, so as you can see, you are the Commoner Zahora, big fighter. I'm playing the Jenny Inquisitor today. And basically, one round goes that uh, each of the player has three actions that you okay. can do. You can move across the tiles, you can interact with the interaction points, and you can assist other players. There are some other actions that you can do, but we will talk about them a bit further on. <laughs> right, right, okay, okay. And I'm not seeing there's different colors here re representing the different actions, um, and presumably that's linked because they, they match, I, you know, I have eyes, they, they match <laughs> our attributes down here. Um, so how do they interact in terms of... Yeah, of course, so they are connected to each of your attributes. As you can see, here's the green interaction, it is connected to agility. Anyone can do any interaction, okay. but you might be a bit better to push into the house than, <laughs> than me. <laughs> <All> <laughs> there right. are some other perception-based actions, and here's the explore action, which is not connected to any of the right. attributes. Right, so this one's exploring the map, and yeah. this one's exploring this burning house. Yeah, you, we can check the name of each interaction in the app. It specifically says, enter the burning house. <laughs> right, right. Well, that feels a little bit more pressing than maybe, you know, <laughs> doing some map exploration. So um, so maybe let's start with that, and we'll, we'll play through a turn and see, see how it looks. So um, I'm going to take my Zahora guy. I've got the agility, so I guess I'll take a look. So I'll take this here green token. Yeah, you just place it into the reserve. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it costs one action to do. All right, yeah. And I'll just click into the app. The raging fire is reducing the house and everything inside it to charcoal. The whole place is filled with thick smoke. Yes, here we can see that uh, the app is telling us some story. We can skip through it. And each of these steps is the setup information that the app tells us to. So we are supposed to explore the interior of the burning house okay. and place a passage token here so that you can go into the interior. Right, so the map can develop not only in terms of spreading out but also in terms of like growing. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. I like that. Broken furniture and forcibly open chests are scattered across the floor. Okay, so we can see some broken furniture. Mm -hmm. So we are placing the Sergio de Rebel interaction here. Okay, okay, so like the, the app will tell you exactly where within each tile you need to be placing some tokens and it gives you a sort of an idea of where within that space you can explore. Yeah, right. okay, of course. Okay. Cautiously progressing through the house, stepping over the charred debris, you come upon a sobbing, shivering man lying on the ground. And here we can see a repenting merchant. He's lying on the floor and we can talk to him. Okay. The app also tells you that you should move your miniature into the interior. Fine. So fine. just move Mazahra in. Okay, so we're moving in. Yeah. And I can go anywhere, it doesn't really matter, right? I'm just yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Okay, fine. And you also receive a perk point survival. Hey, all right. We fine. will talk about that in, a, in the later episode. <laughs> okay, fine. So I've now got my survival technique, and I might need it because we're in a burning building. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And so what options now, so for example, you know, obviously it's a cooperative board game, we want to work together. What can you do with your character to sort of interact with me or with the... With the yeah, of course. So as you can see, uh, you can talk with the merchant in the burning house. It is a more speech-based action. Okay. You can still perform it. And there are also other interactions that you can do. We will be able to encounter other guards, <laughs> uh, other NPCs throughout the world, mm -hmm. and then they may have special interactions that we can do. So once I'm sort of out of actions, you know, obviously next turn I'll be able to maybe do something with them, but for now I'm out of actions. W what are my options now? Yeah, so we will have to go into the player refresh. Okay. Yeah, so you just click into the app that mm -hmm. you want to perform the player refresh. The right. app just makes sure that you didn't misclick. <laughs> you just say yes, yeah. and then you perform all the steps. Right. You refresh all of your stamina into the maximum, Okay, which is written here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You get the free actions that you can use in the next round. Fine, okay. And then you will also refresh your suspicion. You might have become suspicious a bit more in the round, so you just cool down. Okay, okay. And theoretically, like, obviously here we've had a look at sort of exploring a, a new area or maybe, you know, as you say, maybe speaking to a merchant. What are the other actions that I could expect to find within the game? What are the things that I might be able to do? Yeah, uh, so as you can see, here is a myriad of options that yeah, you can yeah, perform. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there will be interaction tokens on the map mm -hmm. and there will be also interaction tokens on the objects. 
and they can be also on the miniature themselves. So that there are some special things that you can do. Maybe there will be hostile guards that you can lure away or something like that. Okay, okay, so we've got a, a guard we can maybe lure or fight. We've got objects that we can interact or search. Mm -hmm. And we've got uh, some speech stuff as well, talking to people. Fine, fine, great, fantastic. So that is how a player turn works within Kingdom Come, the board game. And I hope you guys are excited to see it as I am. If you want any further updates, do follow us in our Going Medieval series. And of course, you can drop a comment below.